Hello all, welcome to OpenMentor.net. This is a specific session on Microsoft Excel where the sorting filtering are used extensively. Sort and filter, the, uh, these are the two features used in any kind of analysis. We have got a table here, student name, subject marks. If you see here, John, James, Abraham, Rahim, Naga, and this is not a sorted list. And now, it has marks in English, Mathematics, Science, but it's not sorted on a subject or a name or by marks. First, I want to do something called filtering. What I want to do is, I want to first know all the marks scored by John in all the subjects. Either I want to filter based on the name or by the subject. To do that, there is a very simple way. If you go to this data tab, then you see a filter sign over here. <coughs> I select this first row. I click this filter. When I click this filter, you could see these arrows coming up. Okay, let me do it once again. I, I again click it, it goes off. I click that, it gets highlighted. Now you see these pull down arrows. This is called auto filter. I want to know all the marks scored by just John. If you, if you pull down that, it says all names are checked. What I want to know is, just uncheck that, all get unchecked. I want to know the marks scored by Abraham only. Just select that, click OK. Now if you see there are two rows and you could see that with a different color. Abraham, Maths and English, this is the marks. Now I want to know the marks of James alone. Select that, you could see the marks of James alone. You can have multiple selects. Give me the marks of James and Naga. Select those two and then click OK. Now you get James and Naga. Now I go here and then I select all, click OK, all the marks, all the rows get displayed. Now what I want to know is, I want to know the marks of all the people in English. Same way you click this, select, uncheck that first, select only English. Now you see John has scored 19 English, James, Abraham and Rahim in English. I want to know only the mathematics marks, just uncheck that, click maths, you get these values. Whenever you do a filter, and if it is filtered, you could see on the left hand side, the blue color. At the bottom, you could see 5 out of 10 records are found. Totally, there are 10 records. If you select all, then the number of records is totally 11 here, with the exception of the first record, or the first row. Now there are 10 records, based on your filter, it will show how many records are selected. A record is nothing but a row. Now what I want to do is, I want to remove this filter. I want to sort based on the name, because it is easy for me to do uh, sorting based on the student's name. Now I click sort. When I click sort, it is asking what is the column name on which you want to sort? It shows the three columns, student name, subject and marks. I say subject name, values A to Z. A to Z meaning ascending order. If you say Z to A, that means descending order. I want in ascending order. Now I click. Previously it is displayed John, Abraham in a different order. Now when I click OK, you see Abraham comes first, James, then John, then Naga, then Rahim. This is alphabetically started. But again, if you see here, Abraham Maths, Abraham English, whereas James English, James Maths, the order in which these two records appear, the order in which these two records appear is different because we just asked to sort only based on the student name. We did not say sort student based on student name, then by subject, we didn't do that. If you want to do that, click this sort, student name, then add one more level, then by subject. Now you click OK. Now if you see here, 
Abraham English. So this is a perfectly sorted list. This is also based on alphabetical order. For the values of Abraham, this is also sorted based on the alphabetical order. So this is how you can use the filter and sort. These two are extremely useful in our day-to-day -day life. With that, we end this session. Thanks for visiting openmentor.net.